so today I am working on a 2016 Chevy Sonic 1.4 Turbo. Now this will kind of apply to the Ecotex. Now, customer complaint, squeaking sound. Literally was on this thing for a minute. Um, lost a quite a time on it. Um, needless to say, I pinpoint the, um, the problem. Now, I got like bird chirps. So it squeaks, but it's not like crazy. But when you give it gas, it kind of goes away. So, well, it does go away. Um, let's start the car right now. And then when I turn on the AC, the chirps even gets even louder. I don't know if you can hear that. So that little squeak right there is driving me crazy. Um, so basically what I did, uh, took off the belt, spin each pulley. Each pulley sounded great. Um, and then also the, the noise was still there. But it wasn't as loud too. Um, so when I put back on the belt, bam. Noise will, the noise will be even back even louder. But um, I suspect it not being the pulley because it actually made the noise when I turned it off. So I don't know if you heard it right now. So it did a couple more squeaks right before that. So that kind of indicates like a vacuum area. So obviously internal. So that's a, it made a couple squeaks right after, even when I had the belt off. So I'm just like, okay, it's internal. Um, we'll go from there. So then I started doing some research, found out, I guess these guys are pretty notorious with their PCV system being clogged. And I noticed one thing too, that the valve cover has been replaced. Um, for stuff like that, if it's one complete unit because of the PCV, Right here, this is the PCV. You cannot replace this individually. You'd have to replace the whole valve cover. I think online, um, if you look online, these are like 50 bucks. You might as well get them at the dealership. I guess they're going for a hundred bucks. That's what they were saying. Um, yeah, I don't know. So before you even replace it, well, this will make a little hiss right there. So you can get like a little straw and put your ear with the straw and make sure that the hiss, or you can put your thumb right there to cover up the hiss. Um, now, if that's not the issue, then you would go to the next step. Um, right here, where this hose, so a PCV hose, this will go all the way to the turbo. I took this guy off. Right here, you would squeeze these clips right there, both sides, and then this will, uh, it's, it's hot right now. Um, you squeeze these guys, and then you'll spin this right off. Um, you'll look at the diaphragm, make sure it's not gunky. As you can see right here, if you can see that, see all that oil? It's only like a blow by gas. Um, so yeah, so I'm like, once I saw that, I was like, what the heck's going on? So then I opened up, so then I opened up this right here. There's a little clip right here. It'll be just like this, like the BMWs. You just pop it out from this end and I use the pick or a flathead screwdriver. And it's gonna be on there kind of tight, so you're gonna have to wiggle it back and forth. Now these hoses are pretty brittle. So wiggle it back and forth, it's on there pretty tight. Now I'm looking inside, I'm like, it's pretty gunky in there. Then I go ahead and look inside. I kind of cleaned it and you're supposed to see like a little pink it's like a little nipple that stays like right about there. Now, if you can't see that, either you can clean up the whole thing or just replace the whole um, cover. Now, you're actually supposed to see through that and it's supposed to pass by. Um, but mine doesn't. So, got to see what the customer wants to do. When this chirping sound is all acting up, one way you can find out is that you'll take off this valve cover, or I'm at the um, oil fill, and then the squeak will actually go away. And then you'll actually kind of even hear the chirps coming out from here, um, but the the main chirp is actually gone. So yeah, that, that'll be that. I'm gonna go ahead and um, start off with the intake, clean that up and see if that goes away. If not, I'm gonna go back to the, 
the valve cover because it is dormant. Like I said, I would recommend to use that. I know the PCV hose is good. One way to determine that is to blow from right here. So you're gonna blow and then you should be hearing air like push out from right there. And then you know that's working. And then you will suck from right here. Try to cover the, the little pinch. So right here, these little holes right here. So you just kind of want to hold it very tight and then suck from right there and then it should not pull any air. If that pulls air, then this is bad. So you'd have to replace that. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's where I'm at right now. I'll, I'll keep it updated. So I won't end the video right now, but I'll go ahead and keep up with the progress. Like I said, I gotta see what does the customer wanna do and then we'll go from there.